My role is I'm in charge of everything basically from the water line up on the exterior of the ship. I supervise or oversee, manage the painting of the hull, the painting of the white work, the maintenance of the steel deck, uh, maintenance of the sails, the rigging. My deck department has uh, seven seamen, three first class bosun's mates, a chief bosun mate and myself to maintain 300 feet of ship, 150 feet up into the air, 22,000 square feet of sail and 21 miles of rigging. Known as a bark, Eagle's design and construction has stood the test of time, a shining example of centuries of development in shipbuilder's art. From stem to stern, she measures 295 feet. Her beam is just over 39 feet with a 17-foot draft. Weighing in at nearly 1,800 tons, Eagle's steel hull is four-tenths of an inch thick. She has two full-length steel decks, a platform deck below and a raised forecastle and quarter deck above. Her weather decks are made of three inch thick teak over steel. Eagle boasts three masts, with her main mast standing 148 feet. Her five miles of rigging are needed to maneuver over 21,000 square feet of sail. Under sail, she can go up to 17 knots. She is also powered by a 1,000 horsepower auxiliary diesel engine. Eagle's maximum range is 5,450 miles. The ship itself is a lot of work. Everything you do on here is hard, physical work. Everyone's arms are always just throbbing because from hauling around on the lines. It's really hard right now to finish the uh, holy stoning and everything. My body hasn't gone through this much pain in a while. Holy stoning goes back a long time. There's several reasons why it's called holy stoning. One, the size of the bricks they use are about the size of a Bible. And the other is the position they're in. Plus, it's kind of degrading, you know? We're all bending down here. It works best when you're on your hands and knees like this. It takes off the top layer of the deck. Makes it look nice. You can actually, if you come across here, you can see the difference in the deck color. From here over, it's been holy stone. So if you look down over here, this has been holy stone across here. See the difference? That's been holy stone, and this part over here hasn't. See how dull this looks and how nice that looks? See the difference in the color? Who's to say what's better though? Dark or light, you know? Personally, I like a dark deck. <laughs> Eagle's a lot of hard work. I, I had no clue how much went into setting sails. I had no clue how much went into maintenance. I had no clue as to how small the crew is, and sometimes you get real down, you know? It's like, man, this is just not worth it. I just want to go home. Yeah, you're telling me. I just can't wait for Frisco. Frisco's going to be a fun port. Another four days. I'll tell you what, man. By then, I'll be ready to get off your boat. Yep. The yards are so much smaller. They're set forward from those, so every time you can go out of snack, you have to kind of step back from them. I'm a boss's mate second class. My job is the mast captain to control the mast, to get everyone where they're supposed to be, and try and have things happen in a timely manner the way they're supposed to happen. She's in the correct stance. She's going to pull with her body. And then she's going to move her hands up, and move her body up, and pull. I'd never sailed before in my life, <laughs> before I came here. I learn something new every day, and I'm, just, I'm not just saying that as, it sounds like a cliche, but I, I'm constantly, constantly learning something new. The bosun is always teaching me, and Petty Officer Dillman, who's been here a collective eight years, is always teaching me something about the rig, about the um, trimming the sails. You want to just be able to see just a little bit of sail, not much, just the tip coming out from another yard. That's well. That's well. That's well! The permanent crew is 35 enlisted people and six officers. Now, 
we're on board all year long, but that's not enough to run the ship during the summer. So we bring on an additional TAD or temporary assigned duty crew of 24 enlisted and about five additional officers. And they help us run the ship, stand the watches, conduct the training. I teach nautical science at the academy. I've been doing that for two years. A lot of the skills that we practice are perishable. If you don't keep using them, you lose them. So, you know, I've been away from sea permanently you know, for two years, but each summer I've had a chance to go back. So, uh, you know, you don't get stale sitting in the office. Uh, and also teaching navigation and seamanship, uh, it's good to come out here and practice the things that you're teaching the cadets because it keeps everybody uh, sharp. Most of what I do down here is navigate, uh, do a lot of the plotting for the charts, uh, recommending course changes. Uh, under sail, we have to track the wind very carefully every 15 to 30 minutes, make sure it doesn't catch us aback or anything. Let the OD know of any changes. We also monitor right now, we're monitoring channel 83 for the helo in the area. We've got the guard for that. And uh, we keep an eye on the helmsman. We do compass checks, 